right, it's my last day in Chiang Mai. I'm having a going away brunch. It's supposed to be like, I don't know, a lot of people confirm, but we'll see who shows up. Um, it's at, of course, my friend's restaurant, Healthy Junk, so. take you guys back to the beginning of the week it was my friend Mean's birthday and in Thai tradition they like to give back on their birthday and so every year my friend Mean likes to go to this temple where she feeds all the stray dogs and cats that are left at this temple a lot of people know the monks will take care of them so they just drop them off at the temple as you can see there's so many dogs like they were just so many <laughs> it just didn't end and they're so sweet honestly it made me really think about how americans don't really think about giving back on our birthdays we always want it to be all about us and so it really was nice to do something like this and a good reminder on just doing a lot to give back especially to animals because i love animals so much what is this temple called man you are and they take donations? Yes, they take food, money, um, anything. But money would be best because sometimes they need medical care. This guy, he's kind of... Someone needs to adopt this one. I don't know what's going on with him. He's on a die because of COVID. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Aww, bye. <laughs> Spent a lot of my last few afternoons walking around CMU University. They have this gorgeous lake and just this walking, running area. And I usually just go for like two, three hours at a time. I actually calculated that two hours around equals 10,000 steps. So I normally like to do around two hours and it's just such a gorgeous walk and there's so many people always here just enjoying the outdoors because it's such a nice piece of nature that's close by and easy access to the city so i absolutely love coming here and just walking around and taking it all in and so because it's a place that has been really special to me since i first moved to chiang mai i used to just walk around here and come here and just kind of have some time to just kind of heal in nature okay guys i'm about to head to my space theme going away party with two other girls. I feel like I look like Xenon right now. I have these silver boots, this iridescent shirt, and then I found these earrings and I felt like they look like planets. And then I put my hair up in these pigtails. <laughs> All right, let's go. So this is when I got my car. So exciting, I got it from Expat Auto. Expat Auto makes it super easy. The only thing is you do have to pay it in cash. As a foreigner, you can't get a loan or lease on a new or used car. Guys, this is the inside of my car. I'm sitting in the passenger seat because I ran inside real quick of my house, but I just drove home from the dealership. And yeah, it smells like a new car. It has nice leather seats, all black. I mean, it's a used car, but it's a 2023 Toyota Yaris. And 
and I kind of scored because basically this car got repossessed and was barely driven and ended up at the car dealership and they never really get like this new of a car. It doesn't even have its plates yet. I get that next week. So yeah, basically I got a brand new car for a cheaper deal. I'll show you guys the outside. So it's raining, so it might not look as nice. This is the outside. Woo! Something I had to do before I left is go get my hair done by my favorite hairdresser. If you are a female and you have been living all over the world, you know the struggle is real in finding a hairdresser that you trust and love. So I love Bridget at Pinky's Hair Bar in Chiang Mai so much. Shout out to her. If you go see her, tell her hi for me. I brought my cat because they were deep cleaning my house. And so luckily she's a cat lover. All her clients are cat lovers. so. So Nala did great. He basically was a client. He sat and chilled on the chair. He's such a good boy and everybody loved him. So I just got my hair done and I have to, I'm grabbing my car because I have to put my cat back in my car. But I parked super far away. So my friend is at the salon and my friend is also the hairdresser. So they're watching my cat while I go get my car. This is Thailand life. But, right, I am now here at the mall because I want to see if I can find an outfit for tomorrow. I have an outfit for dinner tonight, going to dinner with some friends. My hair is already done. I just want to buy some things. So this is the biggest mall in Chiang Mai. It's called Central Festival. go to dinner and meet my friends and it's a chef's tasting dinner so I'll get a little bit of the dinner and um, I'll see you guys in a bit. What I'm wearing, you guys already saw this outfit earlier, it did not change. <laughs> so my friend March arranges these chef table dinners for some of us women every so often and it's always incredible. They, this restaurant had cat photos all over the walls which already meant it was a good vibe. They gave us this little starter to start out with and also this like homemade juice drink that was super yummy and refreshing and there's all the cat photos. <laughs> I just loved it. And then we got some starters. This is what my friend got. I'm pretty sure it was like a beef tartare. And then I got this salmon and it was so good, so fresh. Hey, we're gonna try frog. <laughs> you need to do it first. Okay. We Plates and cups and 
all those kind of thingies. So I went to this plate store because I just wanted some last minute stuff for my kitchen and my new place. And I just feel like I'm not gonna find the same pricing in Phuket. And then I had some lunches and dinners with friends before I left. I invited everybody to watch my favorite band, Croissant, at this reggae bar. I just love reggae so much. You guys know I don't drink, but I love reggae. So my friends enjoyed it too. Got some last workouts in and that was my last week. I'm definitely feeling everything now. Especially today, my friends giving me gifts, that many people showing up for me. It's really hard when you've been a nomad for so long and then you stay somewhere and you really gain these relationships and um, you decide to, to start over again. It starts to really weigh on you. And just reminiscing on this whole journey and how I started off so broken hearted and didn't know anybody to having these people there today. It's weird. I'm definitely leaving my comfort zone again. Oh, you guys, what a journey.